Well, I think it was a surprise, first of all, that it was only the first time. I thought you have been doing this for 10 years, which is good. I think what struck me mostly is the representation of all the many countries. It's also the diversity also of the topics that were discussed, ranging from, I would say, the old-fashioned philanthropy, very traditional approach, together with impact investment, and looking at ways how you can make you know, a better society through more sustainable investments. I think it, uh, it connected the two very well, as I don't think revolutions work. You need to work through evolution. And so you were connecting the different worlds all together with this wonderful group of people. Very well attended, uh, with very exciting panels that each of them actually addresses a different kind of approach that we probably would need. So uh, it certainly offered different perspectives that we uh, would be looking for. So as a panel speaker, what would your advice for the audience here be? on social impact and on CSR per se because of Johnson & Johnson Corporate Citizen Trust Fund? Well, I think uh, impact investment is not something to talk about. It's something that you need to do. Um, and I think there's a lot of theory, there's a lot of hype about it. Uh, the reality is that it's complex, challenging, and I think all this happens in a very uncertain world. So therefore, I would say you know, the best thing is to uh, take time, be patient, develop a lot of resilience and start talking to people and explore with different partners and different types of stakeholders, internal in your organization or your company, but also external, explore potential how this could look like. And don't be tied to definitions. I, I think I remember when we were talking internally about impact investment, people said, ah, you're the ones from the social bond. And I said, no, the social bond is just one element. Yes. If we look at it, it is about how can we deploy capital in an innovative way. And the best way probably is to do it in a blended approach, which you know, grant making is still part of it. It's helping to build the capacity. It's helping to take the risk. People are an essential ingredient. I mean, it's the people who bring the skills into the growth stage of the partners that you work with. But you create a sequence, a continuum, that takes it to the next level, which is about investments, and then basically says, you know, let's change the relationship from a grant making into an investment relationship for the years to come. And that is the model that I think I would, I would suggest. Uh, it's the model that we're trying out. Um, and I think it's, it's a model that gives us the opportunity to learn because we're just starting. And that's the most important thing. So Mr. Welver, people always comment that CSR is always focused on the organization's benefits and impact first before they are concerned about the consumer's benefit. What is your feedback to this? Well, this can you repeat that? CSR yeah. is always more focused on organization impact yeah. before the consumer or the community impact. So you are that man behind the big CSR fund. What is your take on this? Well, I think the um, when you when you work in social impact, it's, it says so. It's social and impact. Yes. So it, it implies two things. Definitely. Social and enterprise value, and I think transformation. And I think that's also the one that we are going through in J and J now. We're developing a global community impact strategy worldwide. Is really trying to define how can we deliver social value next to business value, to enterprise value. And from an impact investment perspective, I think there is a dual reality. I mean, you need to make sure that you, you measure the impact in a very simple way. I don't believe in complicated structures. People want to have clear evidence. What is the difference when we invest prior or after? Yes. So the social aspect is very important, but the financial aspect is also very important because the financial return that we're projecting will enable us to demonstrate the model. We're, we're basically proof testing. And what we want to do to corporate and to our treasury and our financial services is say, well, this model works and this is how it works. So therefore, I think we're focusing probably also to a great extent of understanding the financial return so that we can create a loop Interests will come back into the trust or into J and J. There will be capital repay, and if the capital payback happens, you know the principle that has been projected, you you're able to continue. Mm. So you're creating that sustainability, that sustainable financial structure in a way. So that I think is it's uh, 
I'm not sure if it's a 50-50, I will not express myself. <laughs> sure. But it's equally important. Okay. And, uh, but the most important aspect is that you demonstrate the model that you want to develop. And then you can move to bigger amounts and well, start negotiating for bigger and bigger. And Mr. Velvet, where J&J Trust Fund is concerned, this is not deployed in Asia yet. So the, the success of the proof of concept in whatever you're doing now is going to be important for Asia in J&J's culture. Yes, well, the thing I would have to say is that the resources that we have received are global. So they do include Asia right. Pacific, Great. Latin America, North America, Europe, Middle East and Africa. We have not made any decision. We have taken one opportunity already to our impact investment board that was rejected too early. We learned a great deal about that because it's the dynamics of the committee. Yes. Uh, but you no, know, Asia Pacific is part of it. And I think what I've learned at the conference here is that Asia Pacific is a very dynamic young region where probably a lot of the opportunities of the future and the future companies that will make a difference in the world yes. will probably come from here. Yes. So we're looking with very interesting arms to uh, eyes to you know, what's happening. Here. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Velvet. You must come back and share your work sometime down the line in the TVN Asia network. I will. I will. Thank you.